A woman is suing Monroe County after a wrongful arrest because a roadside drug test falsely labeled a bag of cotton candy as methamphetamine. Sabrina Burst joins us in studio with more details. Lori Dacia Fincher spent over three months in jail and says she'll never get that time back. Daisha Fincher says December 31st of 2016 is a day she'll never forget. She says deputies with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office pulled her over and searched her car. They found the cotton candy in the floorboard of the car. She says Deputy Cody Maples and Deputy Kevin Williams asked her what was in the bag. She said it was cotton candy, but they didn't believe her. An incident report says based on the packaging and crystal-like feature, Corporal Williams tested the substance. The lawsuit says that day when deputies pulled Fincher over, they used the kit similar to this one to test the cotton candy for methamphetamine. This is what they tested, so she was put in jail for more than three months. Fincher says a judge set her bond at $1 million, but in March of 2017, GBI crime lab tests came back to say that the substance was indeed cotton candy. I want Monroe County to pay for what they did to me. So Fincher filed this lawsuit Thursday against Monroe County, the two deputies who arrested her, and the company that manufactured the drug tests. Prosecutors dropped the charges against Fincher in April 2017. She says she missed major life events, while locked up. My daughter had had a miscarriage, um, so I wasn't there for that. My twin grandsons were born. I missed that. She says the situation has made her a bit paranoid, but she's happy to be back with her family. Because I never want to go through this again. She's grateful to have her freedom again and wants to see this lawsuit through till the end. Lori, back to you. Thank you, Sabrina. Fincher's lawyer says the defendants have 30 days to respond to the suit after it's served.